He may not be able to exercise like he used to, and he may have to use oxygen when he does, but William Griffith is refusing to let pulmonary fibrosis take over his life. I'm not allowed it to. Uh, I've done as much as I think I can do physically. Which is remarkable considering William is reminded of his condition with every breath he takes. Scar tissue is slowly building up in his lungs and cutting off his air. Normal lungs look like this. But with pulmonary fibrosis, lungs look like this. And doctors aren't exactly sure why. Nice deep breath in and hold it. But Dr. Clay Marsh and a team of researchers at Ohio State University Medical Center may have uncovered a clue. They found lungs with pulmonary fibrosis contain large amounts of a human growth factor called MCSF which is normally vital to good health. Without this factor, our bones don't form. Um, if you're a woman, you can't make milk. If, if, if you have babies, our teeth don't form right. But if you have too much of it in the lungs, this is the result. Mars says this is the first time researchers have identified these growth factor cells as part of the problem, and part of the reason is that these cells can apparently take on different forms. There's evidence that these cells, once they get to the lung, may be able to transform, much like a chameleon could, and, and really perform much different functions than was previously ascribed to these cells. So instead of acting as a growth factor, they might be causing some of the damage. It's just the first step in understanding this mysterious disease, but William is hoping it will touch off a domino effect that might someday lead to a cure. At Ohio State University Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.